All right, Foul Tarnished, we are back for more Elden Ring here for you. And you know, listen, mixed attacks more likely to break enemy stances of mixed physic. I just don't know. People, just, it just doesn't happen, man. People, just, their stances just don't break. But I mean, what else would I? Because okay, new game plus seven millennia, right? So we're do, we're doing new game plus seven millennia for some reason. Uh, so here we are, and uh, yeah, I don't know, man. I guess I I'm like I'm looking for something. I don't think this. I don't think, I don't think it's anything that's gonna save me. In here, that's why I think it's about the best setup we could possibly have. Yeah, let's, let's let's stop beating around the bush. Let's just listen. Let's get let's get the first death out of the way, right? And then we can go from there. Um, I've been skipping all these boss cutscenes so far, but you know what, Melania, she deserves a little bit more respect. So let's just let's just let's let's let it run. Uh, but first, obviously, we got to do our whole buffing cycle here. If we if we are to stand any chance, we got to be at full power, which means all these buffs. The first time you fight Melania too, you spawn right next to her instead of like out at the, uh, where this fog gate is. So, these buffs will not be wasted on a walk up here. Okay. Okay. Listen, New Game Plus 7 has been most, the, the things that have scaled the most aggressively so far are HP and poise. Like how long it takes to stagger them and or, I guess stance break them and get a repost on their ass, right? Um, damage has scaled somewhat aggressively too though. But Melania, I, I don't know. It's not as bad, but Melania also does a lot of damage baseline, so. We'll see. We'll see. But the, the HP scares me the most. That means I have to fight Melania for longer, right? which means I have to, he has more opportunities to just like heal herself back, right? Well, uh, we'll see. We'll see. The, the build is very strong. The build is very strong. So that's that is our one saving grace. I don't think we can make too many mistakes against like Waterfowl, for example, though, just with all the extra damage and like again, I think heals a percentage of her health, right? Or, or does she heal a static amount? I actually wonder if her, her healing like scales with her HP bar in New Game Plus. I'm not sure. Right, we're gonna find out one way or the other here. So let's see. The toe boots is weird, for sure. Not a fan of her weird like toe steel boots. Oh, okay. Hello. I thought I didn't realize you talked yet. My flesh was dull gold, and my blood rotted. Hope you guys a dream, dog. I think I think that's corpse after corpse left in my way. Yeah, I think you're referring to like all the, that murder you committed as a dream, but. The, Return. That doesn't make it better, man. You killed a lot of people. You're the reason, Kaylee, it is how it is. Heed my words. I should, but I won't. I am Melania, Blade of Mikola. And I have never known defeat. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I got, I gotcha. I really, I probably, I should heed your words for sure, but I won't. Okay, yeah, she, she really, uh, she does not pull punches. Okay, I mean, that's good damage. The good news is, that is good damage. The bad news is, that's a lot of jumping L1s we have to hit her with before anything meaningful happens. Okay, wait. We're not, we may or may not be due for a waterfowl at this point, which loses a certain amount of health is when she's more likely to do it. Right? Mm-hmm. Gotcha. I don't think we're waterfowl just yet. I think one more. Now we're now we're in. Yep, yep, exactly. Now we're in that territory for sure. Oh, that's so much more damage than normal. Mm -hmm. Yep. Goddamn. That is wow. Okay, that's good. Yeah, so that's gonna be a problem. Uh, okay, okay. So I, 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 I was yeah, I was too far away. I was too close to actually like. Sometimes you can't just run away and dodge it entirely. But yeah, no. Uh, I was I was too close for that to actually be a viable strategy there, unfortunately. Okay, yeah, I mean, that's this is gonna be the big problem, right? It's like, we can't make that many mistakes against Waterfowl, and it's very hard to not make mistakes against Waterfowl. So, uh, yeah, man, sure. Okay, let's, luckily, there's a long walk up here, so let's Golden Vow. Let's flame Grammy Strength, right? Let's blue up here. And then let's Barbaric Roar, and then she comes. Whoa, oh, here she comes. All right, get Jumping L1 on. Oh, nice dodge. I gotta, I gotta hand it to you. Even, even like that little love tap there is a lot more. Like we are, we're this build's really tanky, man. Like we're wearing full heavy armor. We got the dragon crest, great shield, talisman. Like we got a lot of health. That's a lot of damage for us to take from just like what was essentially like a little passing tap there. I mean, yeah, that, there's, there's what a real, uh, yeah, yeah. This is the damage of some real attacks. Looks like oh, it's gonna be a problem, man. This is gonna, <laughs> I can already tell you, it's gonna be a problem. Uh, yeah, because I mean, obviously waterfowl is like the worst part, but like even just yeah, even just like. Making doing the wrong dodge on like one of these little attacks is gonna really sting, right? And 
straight up kill us sometimes. Like what just happened right there? Oh man, I don't know about this. I uh, I don't know. I don't know. I, I couldn't tell you. This uh, this it seemed like a bad idea. All right, sure. Uh huh. He's running at me faster than normal, which sucks. Oh no! She, she calmed down. She calmed down. Good. We can barbaric war now. Uh, yes, yes. War. My soldiers roar. My soldiers cry out because you are about to get your ass beat. Okay, really late on that. Yep. And then follow up. Jumping out one her ass. That's a good move. That's a very easy to punish move. Hold that too early. It's fine. And also in the wrong direction. Combination of both is why things went bad there. Do that should whiff. Yep. We should low profile that with the crouch after the jumping out one. Mm, I was like, you know, we might be due for a waterfowl soon. Get back, get back, get back. Okay, okay. Not the cleanest waterfowl dodge ever, but we're alive, which is honestly a good that's 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 it's not a given at all. When that especially when you get caught out like that in the middle of an attack and she goes up in the air, right? Okay, okay. Get jumping out ones, idiot. Fine. That was about even. It looks like her, her healing might actually scale with the size of her health bar, yeah. Because uh, I just hit her there and she didn't lose any health because we traded, right? Uh, maybe not. It's hard to say exactly. Oh, you want to roll into that, which I did wrong. Come in, grab. So true. That's the whiff. Oh, that's not gonna. Yep, yep. Okay, okay. That's, that's bad, man. So this is phase one, right? Hmm. That's the whiff. It didn't. Unfortunate. I guess because she was on. Uh, we, we were on like some some lower ground or something. I guess. Dodge that. It's a good jumping out one opportunity. Yep. Ow, ow. So true. Get away from this. Please leave me alone. I'm dead. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunate. Ow. Just, just, I just want to heal, Melania. Is that so much to ask? Thank you. God damn. That's the one saving grace of this fight is that she's not. Hmm. You don't say. Okay. Oh man, I can't believe it. Okay, okay. Dodge that. He's not like super relentless, right? Like. If she was chasing after you the entire time, honestly, it kind of makes her scarier, but mechanically, it does make it a little bit more merciful that Melania, like, you can get away from her and heal, right? Like, pretty, like, pretty reliably. The problem is, the reason she's doing that is because she, you know, she doesn't need to chase you, just get to beat you when you come back anyway. Yeah, her, her health has not changed. We've been hitting her a bunch. We have not gotten her health any lower for the past little bit here, right? Okay, just quick block on. Yep. Yeah, yeah, keep, uh, we have not gotten her health below half in a bit. Yeah, yeah. Because we just, like, we hit her, and she kept trading with us. And by the way, yes, I at this point, I feel somewhat... Maybe I'm wrong. It definitely feels like her HP, like, she is healing more than she normally would because her health bar is bigger, right? Like, that feel, it does feel like her healing does actually scale. With, like, it's, it's a proportional amount of her health and not just, like, a flat number, which is uh, a nightmare. That's a nightmare. That is a nightmare. There's not really, there's not really two ways to describe that. That's a nightmare. That makes this... Even worse than it otherwise would be. Hey, Flame, do that thing where you grant me strength real quick, please. And then I'm missing Barbaric Roar, which I have to I have to re-up right as we hop in here. Uh, you heard the man. All right. Hello, Melania. Bonk. Sure. Uh-huh. Bonk. Sure. Nice whiff, idiot. Oh god, really? Okay, wait, waterfowl might be on the might be on the table. I think I think we're I think again, I think we're one jumping L1 away from waterfowl being on the table. If I understand my millennia HP breakpoints roughly correctly. Like now, it's 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 officially a threat. I wonder if she can heal herself out of that window. Or if it just like if she ever crosses that HP threshold, then it's on it's on the table. If I walk up to her right now, no waterfowl. Okay, maybe she maybe she can heal herself. I mean it's also not guaranteed. But once she's at the HP threshold, she does it. It's like very likely to do it at least once after she hits a certain HP threshold, basically. Oh, don't roll away from that. Yeah, that's not what you do. You roll into that. So that all those follow-up swings will miss you. Okay, this is a great move. Very punishable. Oh, unless I just failed to dodge it entirely. Okay, now Waterfowl will be a nightmare. Because we're low on health and we're close to her. Okay, sure. This, we are... Yeah, okay, I was guessing. We are, we are at that HP threshold now. So now I'd be very surprised if it doesn't come soon. Wait, what? I thought... Okay, so I, I, I want to get the lock-on off because uh, when... Oh, for the third roll, for that th third dodge, because it sometimes messes with my, my camera, right? 
But last time when we did that, she went, like, she went to the right, right? She went, she ended up on the right side of us. So I rolled, uh, forward into the left there. Does it depend on which way you, you roll? Or does it depend on just which way she was facing when she started the waterfowl? Maybe. It might be the case if it depends on which way she was facing when she started the waterfowl. I'm, I'm honestly not sure. Because getting, like, that, that third dodge is oftentimes, like, we'll, we'll take enough damage, but we'll live on the first two. That's bad. She's not giving me quite as much breathing room as I'd like. Golden Val. Nice. Okay. She does let us at least go through the whole thing. The whole routine there. Hello. Nice dodge. I must admit. Okay. Jumping L1. Wonderful. Uh-huh. Do something. Do something punishable. Yeah, that counts. And then just come down. And then jumping L1, which half been missed, unfortunately. But I see all the, the, the idea, the thought that counts. Was there? Bonk. Are we waterfowled? I don't think so. I think we're about one jumping L1 away from it, which is a problem. But if I get caught out here... Oh, good. Okay, wonderful. I don't think we're going to punish this, though. I think we're going to use this opportunity to get away from her. Yep. I know what I'm talking about, man. With, the, with this with this HP threshold. Oh, yeah. You can't run away from the third one. Yeah, yeah. You can't run away from the third one, even if you're really far away. It just covers, just covers way too much space. Way too fast. Maybe I should give up on the idea of Ritual Sword Talisman in this fight. Like, how realistic is it for me to be at full health for any amount of time? I mean, I guess I can sort of control that with how I Estus. Yeah, like, I, like I can just make, I can force myself to full health right there by wasting some Estus. It's an interesting idea. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. One, two, and then I'm jumping at one. That's good. I mean, that, that attack, that's like the bread and butter. Just like, that is a nice, easy, punishable attack from Melania. We love to see it. Oh, we had a, another... The, the first Waterfowl HP threshold is very predictable. The problem from there is she becomes... Like, she doesn't do it back-to-back -back pretty much ever. But, like, at this point, I think it, she could or she could not. It really depends, right? Like, I could do this and get Waterfowl for my trouble. No, okay. But, yeah, now, I'm got, now at this point, it's happened for long enough. But it hasn't happened for long enough. I have to respect it again, I think. Like, I have to really be careful about my punishes. And just, like, respect the possibility of a Waterfowl at almost any, any moment now, I think. Oh, you don't roll that backwards, my bad. Just straight up the wrong reaction to that. Again, luckily, with Melania, you can just Estus somewhat reliably, though. What are you doing? Okay, I mean, I'll punish this move, I suppose. But Waterfowl might just follow immediately after. No, it didn't. Okay, okay. I mean, I, you know what? Let's just, we just have to kill her. We just have to kill her, man. We can't, oh, there it is, there it is. Okay, okay. I knew, I knew we were somewhat due for one. Nice, that's a pretty good dodge, wonderful. Overall, we got hit by the first bit, but like the rest of that was pretty was pretty well dodged. And now we should be able to brute force our way into phase two, uh, at least without worrying about waterfowl, and theoretically. Yeah. Uh huh. Oh, that's not what I thought you would do at all. I thought you were gonna do the other follow up. That's much easier to punish. Oh no. Okay. Okay. Wait. S up real quick. Leave me alone, Melania. S up real quick. Okay. We'll jumping L1 on the on the come in. There you go. Uh-huh. What are you doing? Uh-huh. One, two. Yes. Jump over that, because I'm a god, apparently. I wasn't aware, but I, I, I've now discovered my deific roots. One. I would really love if you did, like, the much easier to punish version of that strength, which you seem to just, like, hate doing now. Okay, well, I, I think we're going to get to phase two. I think. And things can always go horribly wrong immediately with Melania. Okay, she's not doing the easier to punish one anymore. Mm. Exhibit A. Of things can always go horribly wrong with Melania. Funny enough, being at full health there, Ritual Sword would have killed her. That's good. I mean, we're getting pretty clean at phase one. So that's good. I think we can get to phase two uh, relatively soon here. Phase two, in some ways, is actually easier because she has more, like, special moves to pop that aren't uh, Waterfowl. Right? Like, she, she has, uh, at a certain HP threshold, she'll always do uh, Scarlet Aeonia. Right? She has some other special moves that she'll do every now and then that aren't Waterfowl Dance. That are a little bit easier to deal with than Waterfowl Dance. So, like, like in a, w in a way, Phase 2 can be easier. Though, after the second Scarlet Ionia, she tends to go fucking bananas. Right? Like, Melania, after the second Scarlet Ionia, is just like, she, she's very aggressive. It, it becomes very hard to find a safe window to hit her. Okay, nice dodge. One, two. Okay, roll that sideways. This is a good jumping out one punish window. That whiffed. It's amazing. That's a good jumping L1 punish one, though. What do you want from me, man? I'll take it. I'll take what you're giving to me, if you give it to me. Another one. 
Okay, Waterfowl is incoming, and this is a bad time to be caught out by it. Yep, yep, yep. We're, I think we're dead. We suffered too much damage early on. Oh, no, I rolled it right. Good job, me. On the last one there. It looks like I can, I can stay locked on and just always roll to my right. And that seems to be pretty decent for the third attack. Command grab. As most command grabs, pretty punishable when it whiffs. Okay, okay. Uh-huh. This is a good one. So again, this, that's, that's the ideal ender to that string. The most punishable ender. Holy shit, an actual poise break. <laughs> she gets up so fast. I don't have time to two-hand my weapon, man. I have to, I have to, I have to uh, just like submit to the, having, to, to the one-handed punish. Good to know, I guess. That wasting that Estus is for ritual sword is bad, especially when this happens. Maybe that little bit of extra HP is the only reason we'll stay alive. Who knows? Yeah. Okay. Rolling to the right one locked on. That is a guaranteed way to dodge the third part, at least it seems like. I mean, if not guaranteed, very consistent. So that's that's good. That third part is oftentimes I'll take a lot of damage in the first part of Waterfowl. The second one won't be too bad, and the third one will kill me. Is my usual experience with it. But I think I've found a good way to dodge that that third one somewhat consistently. Get staggered, idiot. Okay. Now. Command grab? Sure. Punishable, like most command grabs. Not actually, not as punishable as it should be. It's more of a Beatrix command grab, less of a Diva command grab, you know? Roll that. Jumping out one punish, of course. Okay, just just don't waterfowl for a second here, and just die. Okay. That's pretty clean. We're getting we're getting a lot better at dealing with this. Scarlet Aeonia, obviously, incoming. Let's go behind her here. Let's use this opportunity to uh, not die to the rot. There you go. This opportunity to re-up some of our shorter lasting buffs here. Flame Grammy strength also. Golden Val might be gone at this point, but we don't really have the FP to re-up it, so it's fine. Ow, ow. Mm-hmm. No, I gotcha. One of those? Oh, baby. Uh-huh. Sure. Let's, let's get to... Uh, honestly, no, I probably shouldn't be doing this for Ritual Sword, because I need all these Estus. Like, it is... This is... A lot of times I'll be like, that's not a War of Attrition. We're going to kill them, or they're going to kill us. This is a War of Attrition, right? Like, I need every one of these Estus. And just, like, wasting them to get a little bit more damage that I'm probably going to lose on the very next interaction is is not a good idea okay sure a little bit of jumping l1 action tried to low profile something i was kind of hoping that she'd do something that would get low profile with a jumping l1 there but no such luck especially with this being a little bit of an upward slope to her uh-huh gotcha she's not doing anything special yet which is weird ah here it is okay the clones one two three four and then she oh right it's five and then her i thought it was one two three four and then melania it's one two three four five and then melania that's my bad that was just a straight up memory gap there. Cause I, I was like, I was, I'm not gonna roll until I see her start to move, but then I just got hit by a clone. Yes, yes, yes. So, so true. That clone move is not as bad. It's not, I mean, it's no, I, this, that's one of the reasons that I consider second phase, until she gets the second Scarlet Aeonia down at least, I consider that to be a little bit easier than first phase because that clone move is like, she'll do that sometimes. It's like, you know, that's her, her big uh, AI allotment of like a special move to kill you with. And uh, it, it is just not as hard as Waterfowl Dance, just straight up. Okay, well, that was a pretty good run. That was a pretty good run. Let's let's try and have a, a clean phase one here, and again, let's, let's try to, to waste fewer Estus on uh, on on this like ritual sword when it's just not really a great idea, in my opinion. Yeah, but Melina used to poise break in like command grab, sure. She used to poise break in like three hits of three jumping L ones. Now it's like five or something. It's like six. Like her poise actually like her stagger uh, has doubled. Okay, yeah. Uh huh. It's good. Punishable. We're in Waterfowl window now, I'm pretty sure. So let's respect that. Do it, idiot. Do it. Yep. Wonderful. Run away. Run away. And then roll this to the right. Honestly, one of the cleanest Waterfowl dogs I've ever had, right? To be, it, 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 it was greatly assisted by the fact that we started off so far away from her because I called it out that it was going to happen. But like, very clean overall. I'm happy with this. Can't Estus there, unfortunately. Got to kind of earn your Estus windows somewhat against Melania here. Okay, sure. Is this is like an AI loop that we've got her in right now. I'll kind of take it. Oh, never mind. I lied. What is this? Oh, that's the. Oh, that's not what I thought it was. I thought that was. Um... That makes sense, I guess. I thought for some reason she just did like. Like he's just, he's just doing the up down one, but in a range where it could never ever hit me. And I was like, ah, okay, this, that's fine. If that's if that's what that is, I'm safe to Estus. That was not what that was. I don't know that. Okay. Surely I saw that when I first fought Melania, right? Because, I, again, I fought her for, like, over the course of two days for, like, 150 attempts. So, like, I, I saw everything she did, I'm sure. But, like, in, my, in our past playthrough, the one that we did on, on the channel, I, I'm i not sure that we saw that one. Because that, I didn't realize that move existed. Or I, I had forgotten that move existed before she hit me with it just then. Which I think I would have remembered if it, if it had happened to me, you know, a couple of weeks ago. 
which would have been when we fought her on the on the on the first playthrough with this character, right? Do something. Okay. This is a great move. Wonderful. Wonk and wonk. Perfect jumping L1 punish. He says, missing. It should be a perfect jumping L1 punish, is the idea. Anyway. Is my character like not sprinting when I tell him to sprint, by the way? Anyone else noticing this? Okay, okay. Yeah. Sucks. Uh-huh. Gotcha. For sure. No, totally. You gonna kill me if I try to S this here? Be honest. No. Okay, sure. Not not the cleanest first phase so far, for sure. Not in waterfowl distance yet. That's not how you dodge this. This is how you dodge that. That's how you punish that. Now we're... God, this is this is like... It's so close. Yeah, I don't know exactly the HP threshold, but I think she's one hit away, basically. From when she'll be very likely to do it. Yeah, like now she's there. But I think she might have healed herself back up across it. I think, I think if I get closer right now, she's gonna waterfowl. Yep, yeah, okay, okay, okay. Oh, oh, he's crouching. Why are you crouching? What are you doing, you idiot? No. Okay, okay, yep. Yeah. Uh-huh. That's fine. Again, very clean. We called it out. So you're able to dodge it very effectively. Yeah, that's why he's not moving when I thought, when, I, when I'm telling him to move. I, I, hit the, I hit the crouch button accidentally at some point. Sure. Uh-huh. Nice. Nice whiff, idiot. Nice kick, idiot. Get jumping at once, idiot. Why is he, why, why, is, why is all his full momentum dying in the, in the air? Am I doing something wrong? There you go. Like, jump forward. When I tell you to jump forward, man. I, I, we, we, I can't, you can't do this to me against Melania, of all people. Again? Run away. We're dead as hell. There's just no way, right? Yeah, yeah. I uh, I don't know what's happening. I'm like, I must be, I must be like, me messing something up. I'm like, when I'm trying to sprint, he's not sprinting. Uh, when I'm trying to, like, I, I, I assume that I'm hitting the crouch button. But as, as I'm like, rapid, in my, in my panic, like, rapidly turning the analog stick, I must, like, be accidentally, like, like hitting crouch or something. Yeah, let, me, let me make sure I gotta I gotta press my buttons with some authority apparently to be listened to in this household. So let me let me let me make sure that I do that. I don't know if like my my B key is just like ran, like just now it just like randomly stuck, like, it, and now it's gonna be a problem moving forward. I hope not. I do hope not. Oh okay. On the bright side, again this is this is looking doable. This looking like we we can we can have a pretty clean phase one against Melania, right? I mean this is why this is basically at this point. Dozens of hours of experience fighting this bitch. I mean, not dozens, not dozens. But, like, just Melania, like, probably, I mean, still, like, probably six or seven hours for me of just, like, fighting Melania over the over the course of all the time. Like, why is he not sprinting right now? There you go. I, I think my, oh, God, please don't tell me my B button on my controller is picked right now to, like, have a weird, oh, God, I did not mean to roll there. Oh, no. Wait a minute. Like, something is, like, long presses versus short presses are registering kind of weird on my, oh, again, he just stopped sprinting in the middle there. I don't know why. We're one L1 away from Waterfowl, by the way. I do not need technical difficulties right now. Melania is bad enough. Oh, I didn't roll there, I promise. Yeah, it's like the, the button like let go and then repressed, I think, is what happened. Yeah. Okay, he's so at least running when I tell him to run now, so that's good. That's so much damage, man. Oh. Didn't mean to roll to roll there either. Oh, no. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, I don't know, man. Let me get something here. Just like, if there's any dust under this or something, let's just make sure we... Pick it all out. Something, something short and sharp here. Please no. I need you. Press the button down a couple of times. Okay, I'm sprinting. He should continue sprinting until I tell him not to. What? Okay, yeah. Sprint jump. There you go. Some forward momentum, and then roll, and then roll, and then roll, and then roll. Okay, 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 okay. It might, it might have gotten like temporarily stuck on something, and then hopefully I just, I just unstuck it. Again, I'm, I'm telling you, man, I do not need... Melania is bad enough when everyone is on is on my side, you know? I don't need my... I don't have to, I don't, do not need to be fighting my controller and Melania at the same time. So I'm trying to get out through the terror in my voice right there. So let's hope. And I mean, it, of all buttons, too. The B button, like the roll button, the most important button in this game. I need him to cooperate. You know, if like the button that I used to like switch from one hand to two hand, if that wants to, to act up for a sec, you know, we can, we can live. But not the B button, man. You are you are too important to this operation. We cannot have you taking a day off right now. Okay, it seems to be working so far. That's that's good news. Jumping on one. Oh gosh, it's too fast. Cool. I didn't. I, I definitely hit roll there and didn't roll. I guess it worked out, but that's horrifying. Okay, cool. Uh, she's at about waterfowl threshold. Oh god, bro, bro, please only roll when I when I short press. Okay, not yet, it seems. Oh, she does it right here? Yeah, there you go. Okay, one and two, and then roll this that way. One little graze, we'll take that gladly. God, it could be so, so much worse. It has been so, so much worse recently. 
Walk. Oh, that's not how you roll this. I always think it. I always mix it up with the uh, like the thrusting attack because they both have the like her little prosthesis glows for both of them. Yeah, that one for example. Please, sir. I told you to roll and you didn't roll. I, I can't. I can't, you can't do this to me right now. I promise you. I promise you, you can't do this to me right now. I, it's it's just it's not it's not fair. It's not acceptable. I'm telling you to sprint right now too. Walk. That's a good move. Good move. Okay. One, two, and then little jumping out one punish. Then another one. Not quite. Get in on her. Uh, lost all my lost all my four momentum too. I tried to. Uh, ah! No, please, 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 buddy, buddy, pal. Oh, buddy, oh, pal of mine. I, I can't. You can't. You can't. You can't. You can't do this right now. You can't. Oh God. New game plus seven millennia is one thing, man. New game plus seven millennia with like half of a B button is, is even worse. I, I, I just, I, I really have to, like, if I want to sprint, I really have to hit the button with some authority. And if I want to roll, I really have to hit the button, like, with some authority right now. Uh, unfortunate. Very, very unfortunate. Okay. That's, I mean, if this could be, I, I might have to just get another controller and, I mean, I, I, you know, it's not like the B button, it's not like I just be like, oh yeah, but it's okay. For Grand Blue, the B button's totally fine to be broken. No, that's, I mean, that's my heavy button, man. That's important. That's my EX special button. So I definitely, I need that, I need that too. I see. I, I I just hope that maybe he's just having a temporary fit, and he will he will come to his uh, come to, to see the light soon. Great start. This into that right away. Great start. Even. Okay. Well, he didn't want to get punished at that time. Pedro out of the command grab though, which is good. There's the, oh, he wanted to do it again. God damn. I interrupted the first one. He's like, nah, I really want to do this. Okay, this is not waterfowl distance. I'm pretty sure. I'm, I'm not gonna risk it. I'm gonna get closer and see. Yeah, no. One more hit, and we're waterfowled up. So let's let's like let, let's make that hit be a punish on her, so that she can't just immediately go into waterfowl. What? Just, he's also in the recovery of something. That's what I would say. If she didn't just kill me immediately thereafter. Oh baby, man, this is uh, this is something. I tell you what, I tells you what that this uh, this, this is gonna be is gonna be a fight for sure. Hello, sir. There you go. I'm like, please, please sprint when I tell you to sprint. I promise. I need you right now. I need you. Oh, he stopped. Oh, that's not good, man. Again, like I, I, it's it's the button, man. I can't, I can't, I can't. You can't, I can't. You can't like not sprint when I tell you to sprint. You can't not roll when I tell you to roll. Like you of all people, I cannot have you doing this to me right now. Okay, get the the blue flask going real quick. Like get barbaric roar on deck. There you go. Go. LeBron James, scream if you love fighting Millennium. Nice whiff. Okay. Nice. It's a perfect move. Get punished, idiot. Uh-huh. Oh, he didn't roll, man. I hit the roll button, he didn't roll. God, oh, God. Okay, nice. Got beaten. Got my ass beat by delays there. Oh, no. Ah, I hit, I hit the B button, I didn't roll. I mean, that, that's not what killed me, but, like, it just... Ah, it, it, yeah. It, 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 it's, it's, it's a rhythm game, right? Like, at the end of the day, when you're fighting uh, an Elden Ring boss, or, like, any Souls boss, especially a, tip, a difficult one, especially Melania, it's a rhythm game, right? So, like, as soon as, like, you know, like, it... Oh, he stopped. Why did he stop sprinting, man? Oh, no. Do I have to stop recording this video right now and, and, and come back when I have another a new controller? I might. Oh, God. Um, but um, it's a rhythm game, right? So as soon as something slightly off happens and you lose the rhythm, you just die, right? Like, same thing if you ever played any rhythm game, right? You, you're, you're just going, everything's great. You got a, a, a 500 note streak or whatever, right? Then you miss one thing and suddenly you miss everything and die. It's exactly it's exactly how it felt like when I when I hit roll and I didn't roll and I was like, huh? And so I was just I was just thrown off, right? Everything, everything went to the toilet from there. Why is he sprinting, man? Why is he sprinting? I promise I'm holding the B button down. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Hit that roll button with authority. Good, sir. Command grab? Sure. Somewhat punishable. Not as punishable as it should be for being a command grab, but... I guess, you know, some of us have more privilege than others. It's fine. Wonk. Okay, one more, and she's in waterfowl territory. That is pretty close, actually. I'm not... Is it? I don't think so. Yeah. Now, though, for sure... Well, if she can just heal herself back past that point. Which I'm not certain if she can or not. If she can heal herself past it. Maybe she can, because I think... I, I'm, I'm surprised... I, I would have been surprised that she hasn't done it so far. You gonna do it? No. Okay, so one more pop. One more tap. And then she will probably do it. Again, let's, let's make it a punish on something. So she can't just immediately take the damage and then shift into waterfowl. There you go. And there it is. It was not... I didn't do the thing that I said I was going to do, to be honest. I didn't... 
make it a punish on something. Exactly what I said was going to happen. I just was like, yeah, whatever. I'm just going to hit her. And then when I hit her, the first thing she did when she recovered out of the hit stun, right, was Waterfowl. Uh, because she wasn't in the recovery of a move or otherwise otherwise preoccupied. And, uh, I mean, we still could have lived, but that's a big reason why that was harder to dodge than it should have been. Because we, we didn't get, we were so close and in the recovery of our own jumping L1 when that happens. So, a bit of a, a, bit of a silly billy for me. I, like, I, I called out like, hey, don't do this or you'll die. And I was like, oh, do this so I die? Gotcha. Okay, flame, please do that thing where you grant me strength. Some of this. Some of this. Amazing. All right. Don't dodge. Okay. I didn't do anything, so I was scared, honestly. That's new. That's a new looking string to me. Got kicked in the head. Ain't that a kick in the head, even? Roll this sideways. I'm so glad he rolled there when I told him to roll. That was That's a bad one to, to miss the roll on, for sure. Hmm. Mm. You're not supposed to roll that back, but I thought we just had enough distance that would work, and luckily I was correct. All right. Oh, I didn't roll there, I promise. I didn't roll there either, what the hell? Now the, now the button's... It, it used to be like, I press it, and it doesn't want to get pressed, and now it's getting pressed. It's just stuck being pressed, even when I haven't pressed it. it, it it's... it's. I'm, I'm getting... I'm, I'm fighting on all fronts here, man. Okay. Estus. He's not doing the, the charge for it. I didn't roll. I did not roll. I did not hit her. I did not. It's good. We can hit her for this, and then she'll be in waterfowl distance. Or we can not hit her for this. That's fine, too. What, what's, what's the point of even locking on? With lock on like this, who needs not lock on? Do something. Command grab. Counts. Give her a quick love tap. Get the hell out of dodge. This is waterfowl distance. Yep. Jump away. And roll that way. Perfectly fine. Again, that one little love tap there, I, I will take. I told you to sprint, sir. You didn't sprint. Awfully messed up of you to put me in this position against the hardest boss in the series, in my opinion. I don't really, I, don't, I mean, I don't really see... I have not fought, like, the Orphan of Cost, for example, but, like, besides that, I don't really see how you could really make an argument for anything else, right? Okay. Get jumping L1, idiot. Oh, good move. Okay, hit the roll button with authority. Very bad to miss these rolls right now. There you go. Okay. What you doing? Nothing. Oh, I told you to sprint jump, and you just didn't. That's fine. That's totally okay, I guess. That's my bad for even wanting to do something and not die to Melania. Ah! Command grab. Little love poke there. Not every punish has to be a jumping L1, I suppose. Especially when we're when we're worried about a possible waterfowl situation. Using moves with slightly less recovery is probably not a bad idea. I didn't roll there. I promise I was just holding the sprint button. Cool. Good move. A little love tap for a possible waterfowl. Okay, bad. Double bad. Please keep sprinting when I tell you to sprint. There you go. Waterfowl is on the horizon, for sure. But at this point, it's not... The first one is very, 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 like, it's almost scripted. Like, not script... It's not actually scripted, but it's, like, it's pretty damn... I, I honestly might be. It honestly might... Like, it's very, very predictable. Right when she does the first one. It gets, it gets Wild West after that, though. She could never do another waterfowl for the rest of phase one, or she could do three more in rapid succession. I, I don't know. I couldn't tell you. Okay. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. Sure. Bonk. Please no waterfowl. Okay. Oh! I... Bro, please, when I hit the B button, I need you to roll, good sir. I need you to roll when I hit B. I hate this because it sounds like I, it sounds like I'm like you know it sounds like a scrub quote like I'm making like an excuse. I promise you. I, 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 have I ever done this before? No. I promise you. Like I just I straight up, I hit roll there. I was not even in the recovery of anything or anything like that. I just hit roll and his ass did not roll, which is truly a nightmare. Hey flame, do that thing where you grant me strength real quick. Thank you. Okay. Sure. Bonk. This is. Yep. Comes down there. She got the big exploding flourish after. That's honestly not so bad. Oh, it's Waterfowl. Oh, God. Okay, okay. Yeah, we're dead, probably. I imagine. Well, well, no. But usually that, like, little bit of a love tap that we get, I guess I have to roll right and back seems to, well, actually, I don't even know. Yeah, right and backwards when I'm locked on seems to be like it. Because, like, for the last little bit there to not get fully, not get fully tapped, I don't fully know. But yeah, normally that like little bit of a love tap that we suffer at the end of the waterfowl there is not that big of a deal. But at, at, in that case, actually, that was about as much health as we had. We took a little bit more damage than normal. Till. We normally take a, a one hit. We took a few more. I'm not sure if that's because waterfowl itself gets a little bit more deadly when she's in phase two. 
or maybe Pearl like Scarlet Ionia or something. I'm not sure, but we definitely we took a little bit more damage there than normal when we did that roll. Might have been also like the position we were on the map. There's a lot of different possibilities of why I didn't roll there. I promise you, uh, of why things could have gone slightly awry on that waterfowl. Get back to the red flasks real quick, like get wrecked, idiot. Fight. <laughs> This is, uh, it's getting to be, it's getting to be uh, quite painful at this point, I tell you what. I guess, I guess I have, I have accidentally been thrust into uh, a pseudo challenge run. I'm like, not only is this new game plus 7 millennia, but it's also new game plus 7 millennia with a controller that... Honestly, like, if I just knew I couldn't roll, that'd be something. No, not knowing when and when it will or will not respond to me is, is somehow even worse. Get away. Okay. Run away and get away. And I feel like... Sure. Wait, was that? Was that, like... Crouch down. Did that? Because I didn't roll when I wanted to roll again. But I just got a crouch and it worked. Is that a thing? Is that a thing? You crouch and dodge the third part of Waterfowl with a crouch? I don't think so. I mean, she does go pretty high, but it doesn't seem right in my head. Oh. Whoa. Okay, get some of your stamina back. Understandable dodge. What are you doing? Okay, no low profile, unfortunately. Get bonked. Okay. Technically a little bit of, a little bit of a net negative on her health there. She lost more than she healed back, so that's something, I guess. Okay. Ow. So true. Get bonked. That was an unfortunate buffer there. I didn't mean to do the two L1s. I mean that's not controller problems, it's just how the Elden Ring buffer system works sometimes. I would like to be at near full health if possible. Okay, nice. Yeah, again, uh, the, the only saving grace uh, is that there is... He does let you Estus pretty consistently, right? What are you doing? Oh, okay, that. Sure. Oh, god. Nice nice tracking there. Nice turn. Mm-hmm. This is a problem. Well, I mean, we're not looking very clean. Even if we do get to phase two, we're not looking very clean on Estus. It's going to have to be a, a damn... Oh, god. I Please, keep your full... Don't stop sprinting right when I jump and lose your full momentum. That's, like, the worst thing. That is with a jumping L1 lose all my stamina, and I'm in recovery, and I didn't even hit her to stagger her a bit. Okay. Waterfowl is a possibility. It has, it's been a while. But it also might just never happen. Oh, there you go. It happened. Okay, I mean, it's good. I, I have fought her enough that I at least have a bit of a sense on... Oh, I'm gonna die, though. Oh, okay, okay. That was not... Yeah, I... I, I, I the, the sprints happened when I didn't want to sprint, and the rolls didn't happen when I wanted to roll, unfortunately. I, I have, like, somewhat of a sense of, like, you know... Because he, he, he never does, like, two waterfowls back-to-back, -back, right? So even though the first one is heavily scripted, and then the rest of them are, like, somewhat random, like, there is also, like, there is some amount of, like, hey, you know, waterfowl just happened, waterfowl is not going to happen again. Or, like, waterfowl hasn't happened in a while, like, waterfowl is, is more likely than it, than it used to be, right? Like, they, 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 he, he's unable to just do, like, even through, like, a miracle of RNG, Millennia will never do 15 waterfowls in a row, right? She literally, it's not a chance thing. She just, I think, is hard-coded to only do it every once in a while. And then I think the longer it goes, the more likely it becomes. That The second part, I'm not sure about. The first part, I'm quite certain. She, she literally, like, cannot, even if you force the the, the math to, to go a certain way, she just is not is coded to not be able to do, like, 13 waterfowls in a row, right? She, there is a cooldown between them. Even two waterfowls in a row, I don't think is possible. Okay, sure. Yeah, I mean... Oh, cool. Uh, that's better, I guess, than some possibilities. Yeah. Roll it. The third part, yeah, definitely seems a little bit more vicious in, in, in Phase 2, I tell you what. I mean, there goes the, our last Estus. Yeah, sorry, that's a problem, right? Is what I was talking about earlier, even though we made it past Phase 1, but we, we, we were kind of low on, on resources. Okay, let's, let's, yeah, let's learn about how to dodge the clones at least. One, two, three, four, five, and then, oh, it's six? Oh, there's six of them, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, Melania Stab. So true. And the last, the sixth one came from like, he, the, so the fifth and sixth one come in relatively quick succession, right? I don't think I even saw the sixth one coming until it killed me. So you probably want to roll the fifth one forwards, because it looks like the sixth one kind of comes from the side and stabs. So if you roll the fifth one forwards, the sixth one might whiff? I'm not, you might just want to roll rapidly uh, twice in rapid succession there, I'm not certain. Okay, I mean, we've been fighting Melania for 40 minutes. I'm not surprised about this at all. This is totally, this is exactly as I expected it would go. Oh, this is bad. Yeah, that, that's the wrong order. I wasted so much FP. We won't be able to re-up as many buffs when we get to phase two, which is unfortunate. Okay. 
jumping in on her with a jumping L1? Is this not a good idea? That's gonna kill me. Yeah, okay. Very the very dirty run. Honestly, good, because uh, a couple of things were done. I, I a couple of times I've gotten lucky where I've jumped in with an L1 and then she's just uh she's whiffed, she's gone over our head. But one, uh, when we're coming in like that, we're on an upward slope compared to her, so it's never gonna happen. And two, in general, it's just not a good thing to rely on, right? It's not something that's gonna consistently go our way every single time. Or something like that. So probably a good idea to just like not do that at all. Like only hit her in recovery of her own moves. Don't just try to like Okay, so for example, right now we have to Golden Vault, otherwise we'll have wasted our FP, because we'll, yeah. Because now we, we have just barely not enough for Flame Grammy Strength. So then we do this, and then we go and have Flame Grant of Strength. Um, but, yeah, like, just hit her in her own, it's not, it's, not a, it's not a reliable enough thing that it's a good idea to, to mess with. Taking risks against Melania is just dumb, right? So let's only hit her as a punish, like that. Okay. That works. Oh, I didn't, I, hit, I didn't roll when I hit the roll button, man. That is heartbreaking every time it happens. It's so confusing every time it happens, too. I'm like, what, huh? Like, I, 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 see, I see my health bar go go down. I'm like, I, that shouldn't have happened. Can't believe that I dodged that. I I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. I, I, I got to have to hit the roll button with a bit more authority, even more than I'm already doing. Get bonked. Waterfowl is very much on the table right now. In fact, it's probably the next thing she's going to do. Oh, okay, no. Get away. Ah, uh, this is bad. We have, like, no health to sustain this, right? Just tank it? Oh, I was like, what if he just drank some Estus and, like, Tank, tank the last hit, but yeah. Also, yeah, yeah, no, uh, I can see that now. Like, the third uh, the third bit of Waterfowl there, probably all of Waterfowl is my guess, but especially that third bit, because it's normally so short, that definitely has more slashes in it in second phase, right? Which is really just nasty. That The fact they, they buff that move from first to second phase is, that's really nasty. Um, yeah, I was like, maybe if we just like, get an Estus in, we can, like, take some damage from third phase, but keep it relatively sit, so, like, you know, we're still fine. No, no. We didn't have time. We haven't, there wasn't enough, a big enough window for us to actually S this between those, as kind of expected. Uh, Barbaric Roar, and then Flame, do that thing, please, where you grant me strength. Oh, man. I don't... This is going to take a while, man. I don't even know. Like, we might not finish this before I have to go, you know, do DLC recordings, because we're, we're only, what, we're like three days out or two days out or something for you guys? I'm, 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 this is, I got a big backlog going right now, so I'm not entirely sure what day it is for you guys, but the DLC is approaching. So, like, if I, if I can't beat her in the next, like, two hours or something, then it's, just, it's, it's cooked, right? Okay. Unfortunate first phase so far. We haven't even gotten her to Waterfowl Threshold, and we've been hit a whole bunch. That's what I told myself not to do earlier. Command grab. Jumping L1. Not didn't mean to do that second L1. I just mastered the jumping L1 button, and that's why. The buffer system got me. Oh, my need to do something. Ah! Ah! Okay, that time I actually just, that, that, uh, see, I'll be honest, that time I hit roll, I hit it roll too late, right? So like there, that, maybe, maybe, maybe my controller would have also trolled me even if I did hit it on time, but that time I just straight up didn't hit it on time. So there's no, no complaint about that, it's a skill issue. Didn't, didn't mean to do that second L1. I gotta be like very careful in the jumping L1s too. Because I, otherwise I will get multiple when I don't want them. Okay, we can ask this here, that's safe. Ish. He's not in waterfowl yet. Now she is. In fact, to the point that I'm not even going to punish this. I'm quite certain Waterfowl is coming next. Yep. What did I tell you? The first one? Oh, don't stop sprinting when I don't tell you to stop sprinting, man. The first one is very scripted, right? The first one, like, it's, it's super easy to figure out what you're going to do the first Waterfowl. It's the ones after that that get dangerous. But, I mean, hey, on the bright side, if you're lucky, you, could, you might only run into one Waterfowl. So, like, at least being being really safe about the first one and respecting it is, is a, like, it gets you a long way, at the very least. Okay. Uh-huh. Gotcha. Do something punishable at some point. There you go. That counts. Thank you. Bonk. Oh, I didn't mean for the second I want. Damn, I gotta stop mashing the button, man. Yep. This is safe-ish. No, it wasn't. I lied. Okay, we'll back with this. Be right in front of her there. For the jumping L1. That okay, that time, unfortunately, that was one of the times that I hit roll and didn't get didn't get roll, so that's that's okay. It happens. At this point, it's just something we gotta deal with. It's not omnipresent enough that it's like I just can't roll ever, but I definitely just, I, I gotta hit the buttons harder, man. Get some Estus in ya. I mean, again, unfortunately, even if we do make it to phase two, we're a little bit resource starved, as is. Hit the button with some aplomb. There you go. Get a jumping L1 going. Didn't mean for the second one at all, and that cost me a lot of both my progress on her and my own health, unfortunately. That rolls unintentional. <laughs> it's fine. At least it happened in, in a relatively low stakes environment. Gotcha. Bonk. Okay, that's. I feel like I didn't match L1 that time. I guess it just happens sometimes. The buffer window is very generous 
on attacks in this game. We could, we are kind of due for a waterfowl, but I just, honestly at this point I just can't. I just have to kill this first phase, man. I can't really afford to risk prolonging this phase. If he kills me with waterfowl, we're gonna die anyway, probably. It's fine. But if you have any chance at all, this first phase has to die like right now. This can't be a waterfowl right now, or I'm dead. Okay. There you go. Like I, we just at a certain point you just have to be like, well, I just gotta go, man. This phase just has to die right now. Uh, okay, re-up, barbaric roar, re-up, flame Grammy strikes. Maybe I should re-up Sacred Val even over those two, just since it's like, it is at the end of the day, like, uh... Oh, immediate, huh? Well, there's that waterfall that we were due for. Yeah, phase two waterfall is definitely worse. That's a damn good point. Goddamn. Uh, yeah, I mean, there you, on four, I guess that's one thing. It seems like the timer might carry over between phases, right? Again, it's not a time. It's not like a straight up like once every 75 seconds she will waterfowl dance, but it's like the longer she has gone without doing one, the more likely she is to do one. And it seems like because we didn't get that one that we were sort of due for in our in our first phase there, it just immediately happened in the second phase, right? So maybe it is a good idea to bait out like one waterfowl right before the phase ends so we can get some free time against phase two. Okay. That is actually the ideal one, yeah, it's like that Golden Vow and then Gra Grammy Strength and then Barbaric War leaves us enough FP left over at the end of all things there to probably even re-up Golden Vow, which we which will have run out by the time we get to Phase 2 almost certainly, unless you have a very good Phase 1. It's 60 seconds, I th actually it might be 90 seconds, because Golden Vow is better, so yeah, 90 seconds is a lot more time. I think, because Gold Golden Vow, the, the, the uh, incantation version is much better than the, the weapon art version, I think it lasts 90 instead of 60. So in that case, maybe if we do get a, a pretty decent Phase 1, it could actually be likely that we go into Phase 2 with it still around. Uh-huh. Gotcha. We're not in Waterfowl territory yet. Now we will be. Now I have to get the hell out of dodge. Nope, nope, nope. Not the second one. Not when we're in Waterfowl range, please. Please sprint when I tell you to sprint. Okay, trigger it. There you go. Get the hell out of dodge. Please don't stop sprinting before I tell you to stop. Can I crouch? No, okay, okay. I just wanted to try it, because like the one time it worked out really well. But yeah, I was like, is, is he just like go clean over your head if you crouch or something? No, she doesn't. The one time, just like the way the map worked out, it was just perfect. That's not something that'll happen consistently. Okay, Kiku. Okay, sure. Get bonked. Overall, not a bad trade for us. That sucks. What are you doing? This is punishable? Ish, sometimes. It's not risky to punish, at least, to attempt to punish on. I didn't roll when I hit roll. Amazing. It happens. Get back to full health. Why not? Okay. Command grab is wonderful. A little jumping L1 action. Really? That's just rude. You know that? Okay. Pretty clean. Overall. For getting caught out right under Waterfowl when it started. That was a very, that was a very, like, that was a very consecutive, not consecutive, it literally wasn't, right? That was a very quick Waterfowl after the first one. It felt like to me. I mean, we have, we're not making a lot of progress health bar wise, it keeps hitting us, is the other problem. It's, it just has so, like, it, as if, like, her just doing a, a massive amount of damage, having a ton of health, right? And then also Waterfowl. But no, she also life steals. Like, if you just get, if you just keep getting hit, you just, like, won't make progress in this fight. They, they really, like, they really did not pull their punches with Wayne here, right? Like, I feel, the reason I, I, I do feel like it's, like, probably the hardest boss in the series. And I don't even, like, I, I know it's obviously a boss difficulty is very subjective. But in my opinion, it's, like, not even a discussion from anything else that I've seen from, from uh, the, this, this franchise. It's, like, this, it really does feel like they're just, like, yeah, you know what? It's, you know, Elden Ring. Is, is maybe like one like it's 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 our it's our, our biggest project yet you know it's like it's like our, our magnum opus we i don't even know if there's gonna be like maybe there's gonna be like an elden ring 2 i don't think that makes sense i, I don't maybe but the point is they're like you know we're just gonna fuck it we, we, we've been going easy on you this whole time let's just let's just let's just throw the like the nightmare to end all nightmares in a secret area that you, can, that you don't have to necessarily get to and and you know you guys can all you guys can all uh, knock yourselves out yeah we're this this run is cursed by the way it just keeps hitting me with these little stray hits and it's like i, I can't get her health bar down man like I've hit, I've killed her like twice over, but she just healed herself once over, but she's still alive. Oh, I died in the I died in mid air again. Yeah, I was like, huh? Why did the I am Melania thing? Like, why did the voice line start up? Ow! I, well, I'm, you know, on the bright side, Moog was kind of a disappointment. I'm glad to see the Melania is not a disappointment. Uh, we we certainly have been fighting her for 50 minutes. Uh, new game plus seven Melania is uh, it's just the. Uh, it's just the little push over that, uh, that 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 it needed for it to be uh, once again very very difficult for me. Even though on the last last time we did this, we, we got her about nine tries. Giving her new game plus was more than enough to push her back into the uh, oh god, how the hell do I beat this woman phase of of uh, of my emotions. Okay, 
Well, it's Barbaric Roar, and then just run straight at her here. Uh, scream if you love fighting Melania. Do something. Great move. Hit the button with some authority, so we don't accidentally not roll. We want to roll. Dumping L1. I didn't mean for the second L1, but I guess I guess I mashed the button. I hadn't hit I had I hadn't hit L1 for like three seconds there. But again, the, the buffer window is just very. It's all it's like unfortunately generous. Oh, didn't roll that. Oh god. Same thing there. Really got to be more careful with these jumping L1s, I suppose. God damn. I don't remember having- I guess I'm panicking, I guess, because I'm fighting Melania, so I'm, my inputs are getting messier. Wonk, wonk. Oh, that hit me. I thought I rolled that enough to the sword side that I'd be okay. Ow. Yep. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's, it's, it's what it's going to be, yeah. Um, oh. Voice crack. True voice reveal. Melania hit me so hard, my, my, my vocal cords uh, could no longer maintain their alien appearance. Uh, but... She has, like, the, the sort of bread and butter thing she does, like, you know, one, two, and then a follow-up after that. And, like, the second swing is, like, very horizontally wide. So you have to roll behind her, like, sort of behind the first swing to not get hit by it. Oh, let's not run up to her this confidently when we have none of our buffs up. How's that sound? Um, but yeah, the, the, the second hit is uh, you have to roll behind her, basically. But sometimes it still gets you if you're not careful. Like, I got got right there because I wasn't very careful. Thank you for letting me do all this, Melania. She doesn't gonna All these buffs don't matter. She's going to kick my ass anyway. So she just lets me do it. So sure. That's a very mean follow-up off of that. Really? I mean, good thing to the command grab, because I just made a mistake there. Okay, one L1 hit, now we'll follow up L1. Yes, okay. So it, like it is, it is like they are right, like when they're doing it, they're being very generous with the buffer, but I am hitting the button more than once for sure. Okay, good. Get the hell out of the way, because waterfowl is coming. Get the hell out of the way, because waterfowl is coming. Okay. Let's trigger it real quick. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, Melania, please. Really? Wait, are you not in waterfall range? I could have sworn. Are you like one HP above it or something? There it is. No, I okay, okay. So it's, again, it's not scripted. It's just it's very likely that she'll do it once she passes that first HP threshold, right? I tried to punish waterfowl, and I my for my folly, I was punished. Wonderful. This is a good attack to punish right there. I hit, I felt myself hit L1 more than once, and the buffer agreed. Unfortunately. Got to be much more patient, much more zen-like in my punishment to Melania's moves. It's a great move. Hit the button with some authority, because we need to roll these. These do a lot of damage. Dump L1. Hit the button more than once, and Waterfowl has come to greet me. Hello, Waterfowl. Mm-hmm. No, I mean, we'll live, I'm pretty sure. Yep, that was, it was quite nasty, because we got caught underneath Waterfowl. Gotcha. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Jumping L1. Only one hit of the button there. So nothing to worry about in terms of the buffer system. Wonk. Wonk. Command grab. Perfect. Dumping a one action. I hit the button more than once there. I felt it. Yep. And here's here's my punishment. Alrighty. It's, I mean, it's a cleaner first phase than we've had for a while so far, so that's good. There we go. Ow, ow. Do something punishable, please. This doesn't count. None of this counts. Oh, that actually did count, but it's too late now. I'm, she's gaining back all her health and I'm losing all mine, man. It's like it's a double swing. Problem is we're also at this point, Waterfowl is definitely on the table, possibly. Dumping L1. Only one hit of the button there. What are you doing? Could be Waterfowl. Could not be. Bank grab. Really bad time to hit the B button and not get a roll. Uh, really, really bad time to hit the B button and not get a roll. Like, of all, of all, actually, yeah, come think of it. Of all of her moves, besides maybe Waterfowl Dance, the worst time to not get the B button to do what you want, right? Oh my god, Hitless Waterfowl. That's what, that's what you get when you, uh, when you, when you start far away enough. Really horrible that that command grab hit me. I, I'm not gonna lie to you. Especially since I, 100% did roll there, but that was, my controller's been behaving for the past little bit of this, uh, same thing there, buddy. Uh, my control has been behaving for the past little bit of this uh, of this of this phase, of this try, right? But right there, it decided to be a little bit funny with it. On the bright side, we're a little bit waterfowl inured now. One hit of L1 only so for for ultimate maximum safety. Oh God, follow-ups all day, every day. It's gonna kill me. Yep, rolled that back, and I was not far away enough. Ow, owie. Again, I gotta, I gotta react when I see the little uh, orange flash. I just always think, oh yeah, this is the, uh, 
Well, to be fair, I say like I it, it makes me think like, oh yeah, this is the uh, the little little stabby move. But the stabby move you don't roll immediately either, right? I think I just, I see orange and I get like worried. Then I go, oh god, something's coming, and then I roll. But no, man, I gotta I gotta I gotta think about it for a second. And also, I mean, not what I meant to do, but it's fine. Uh, by by default, there you gotta you gotta just you know you gotta roll forward into that move, man. You just gotta roll it correctly. At a certain point, you just gotta roll it correctly. There's no nothing nothing else that you can do. You just gotta dodge it. There's no there's no cheat otherwise. Do something? Okay. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh, okay, she's whiffing horribly here. Oh, but she will do a follow up. Okay, that's yeah, that's not a combo ender. I always think because when you're far, I want. Mm hmm. That's bad. This is a kind of a cursed run not already. I'm not gonna lie to you. Yep. Uh huh. Didn't roll there. I actually don't know if that was because I didn't hit the button fast enough or what. Okay, yeah, that was a bit of a curse run. Uh, okay, well, I, I actually do have to have somewhere to be. So about an hour is is about as far as I can go on this one. Um, so it, for safety, in case this next one actually doesn't, we don't die right away and it takes a little bit longer. I think I am gonna have to call it here, man. I mean, we'll keep fighting her, I guess. Uh, but new game plus seven millennia. Uh, oh boy, what what a what a what a time to be alive, man. Bear, I, as I'm glad. She is definitely as hard as I thought she would be, uh, in the sense of, like, right now I'm thinking, like, I don't think any of my runs so far could have won, like, realistically, like, without some ridiculous luck, right? Like, we are not there yet. We just can't beat her. We have to get better at the fight before we can beat her, uh, which is interesting. That's good. It's exciting. It's a good challenge. Again, a nice a, a nice challenge, a nice prep for whatever the hell they have awaiting us in the DLC, which, again, usually the way that if, if, if the FromSoft pattern continues, Melania will not be the hardest boss in the game anymore after the DLC. In fact... It's likely that Millennium won't even probably be the second hard. Like, usually, like, all of the hardest bosses, one after the other, after the other, after the other, are in the DLC, right? So it's possible that, like, three or four bosses in that DLC are more difficult than Millennia, which is going to be something. So, hey, it's a good prep. It's a good, it's, you know, getting, getting us in, in the Elden Ring spirit here to get to, to, as the DLC approaches, ever closer every day. For now, though, that is going to do it for this video. As always, made it this far in the video. i got some things for you before you head out here. Firstly... If you want, you know, you can hit those like buttons, them subscribe buttons, them bell buttons, all that stuff. It does help, right? Uh, it's, I know it's the, the general YouTuber checklist, but I promise it does make a difference. That's why we ask. And not just algorithmically, too. Obviously, it does help the, the channel. It supports. It makes a difference. So I, I appreciate that. But also, it for me, it helps me figure out, like, hey, okay, you like this video. You didn't like that video. You know, you want more of this. You want less of this. I, I want to make things you want to watch, right? So you guys let me know. Uh, besides that, the bell button can also be helpful for you. I mean, I put out three videos a day. So if you want to stay up to date with all that, the bell button could help. Uh, also, there's a link in the description down there for you to join my Discord if you'd like. It's a nice place for you to hang out. It's mostly fighting game centric, but still, there's lots of people talk about card games, Elden Ring, gotcha games, art, music, whatever, uh, general stuff in there too. So if you if you'd like, you can certainly join and, and make some friends. I think you have a good time. But be nice if you do join, or I'll shoot you clean in the head. Uh, besides that, there's also another link down there for my Twitch stream, which is not happening the week that you're watching this. I'm almost certain. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, but I will be back next week. I, I stream about twice a week right now. I might even try to stream a little bit more often in in, in the near future here. For now, though. If you want to go by and drop a follow or something, that'd be great. Otherwise, when I am back, uh, you know, if you want to, if you want to come by and watch the streams, then have a good time. Besides all of that, most importantly, I hope you guys had a great time hanging out today. I sure did. Melania kicked my ass for an hour straight and with no real sign of victory in sight. So uh, that's you know that's uh, that's that's souls, baby. We love to see it. I we'll see. I mean, we'll at a certain point we're gonna run out of time, right? I think again, I think we are too. Like I, I put a video out every day. I think, is this the 18th for you guys right now? I actually don't know. It's the 16th or the 17th or the 18th, something like that. Regardless, we are, you know, I can't spend forever fighting her. On the, on the 20th, on the 21st, I suppose, we're, we're putting out some, some Shadow of the Earth tree, right? So we'll see. We'll see. For now, though, that is going to do it for this one. I hope you guys had a great time watching. I had a great time playing, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.